G'day, how you doing? Adam here from Poseidon Racing with another video in this series, a really important video in this series, so make sure you watch this one right from the front to the back. Of course, in the ultimate beginner's guide to Zed Run, everything that you need to know to take your stable from zero horses and zero experience all the way to the top, one of the most successful stables in Zed Run. That's our aim. I hope to give you all the knowledge to do exactly that. In this video, we're looking at buying your first horse. Now, I've got two videos on buying your first horse. This one is like, if you're just desperate and you wanna rush in and you just have to get a horse to then learn the game a little bit more before you make some more informed decisions, this is the video for you. I'm going to go through a couple of key points to hopefully make sure that you avoid getting scammed and hopefully avoid wasting too much money by rushing in. I get it, I rush in too and buy a horse because I feel like I learn the game when I'm a little bit more invested and then I can make wise decisions later. But even with that, we want to be a little bit careful with how much money we spend, what we spend it on, and of course, try not to get scammed and, and pay a bunch of money and don't get any horse at all. Fingers crossed. I can sort of navigate through that with you. All right, let's switch over full screen and we'll take a look. Okay, so when you're buying your first horse, look, chances are that there's a couple of ways of buying, right? So you can buy through the public drop directly from Zed Run, but they only happen like every now and again, and there's not many of those to go or to come still. Chances are by the time you watch this video, maybe all those public sales drops have all finished, okay? But if they're not, you can wait around and try and get a horse there, but they are very, very difficult. There's always like, you know, 5,000 horses for sale and 20 or 30,000 people wanting to buy them. So a lot of people miss out and it's very frustrating, okay? So it's a good idea to try and get one there, but you won't always get one there. So if you sort of come into the game and you wait around for four weeks waiting for one of those public drops and then you completely whiff an air swing, it can be really, really frustrating. So the other place to buy horses is via OpenSea, which we are here now, OpenSea.io. And look, you can also do some player to player transactions, but be very, very careful. In fact, number one scam point if you're a new Z player or newly interested in Z and someone contacts you via private message, just assume they're trying to scam you because most players are not there sort of out contacting all these newbies, but a lot of scammers are. They go, right, newbie, they want a horse. I will set them up with a cheapish horse, you know, a fake horse probably and um, take your money and then all of a sudden you're like, well, I didn't even get a horse and I just spent whatever, two, three hundred dollars. Okay, so assume if you're getting a message via private message, particularly if you haven't initiated that message, if they have sort of just messaged you out of the blue, probably a scammer, number one thing to be aware of. Okay, now when we come to OpenSea, there's two more things I want you to be aware of. We'll get these out of the way straight away. Let's click on uh, explore here. So OpenSea.io. Open up the collections panel here and we'll type in Z. You'll see Z run at the top. Click on that. Now, if we just click on the first horse here, just for an example, you want to see this blue tick verified collection. Okay, and there's another telltale as well. When you open up properties, make sure that the color, coat color is somewhere around about 1%. All right, if that says 100% or 50% or 80%, or there are no properties there at all, be very, very careful with that as well. Now, if we just go back, we'll set up this in a moment for looking for your first horse. Remember, this is first horse in a rush. I really want you to go through all the videos and sort of arm yourself with all the relative knowledge before you really make too many decisions. But if you're anything like me, you just want a horse, you want to get in there and race and you want to sort of test the game out, then we'll try and get you a horse for, you know, a cheapish horse just to do that. It's not probably going to be a great one, but we'll try and do that. Now, the next thing is that we need to be aware of, right? 
is a lot of people like to buy unraced horses. These are horses which have just been either recently bred or recently minted by Zed if they're a Genesis horse and we'll talk all about those different aspects throughout the later videos. So these are horses that have not yet been raced. Now if you're wanting to buy a horse that has not yet been raced because maybe there's a champion, a hidden champion in there, you don't really want to make an offer. So again, if we click on the first horse here, let's assume this was an unraced horse. I don't know that it is. Properties, details. Oh, we no longer have those details, but I can show you where to find those details about whether or not it has been raced. But let's assume this one hasn't been raced and you think, oh, $220 or 0.1 Ethereum. That sounds pretty good for unraced. Well, what I'm going to do is instead of buying that straight up, I want to try and make an offer and get it for 0.08. Get it at, you know, a little bit cheaper than that. Now with unraced horses, you need to be really, really careful because what the stable owner can do, and it's very dodgy, I would never do this myself, but what they can do is see, oh, my horse has got an offer. I'm going to put it in a race and see if the odds are good or bad. And then if the odds are really bad, I'm going to sell it to that person, you know, for the 0.08 for that offer. So all of a sudden you think you're buying an unraced horse for 0.08 and it turns up in your stable and it's had one race. And when you do the research, you see, oh, this horse had one race and it was $44 odds. That is terrible. And I just wasted my money. So be aware of that too. If you're searching for unraced horses, you're better off just buying them straight out with the buy now button. All right. You'll need some Ethereum in your wallet, in your Zed wallet. And we spoke about that in a previous video. All right. And then you can buy straight from there. Now let's jump back and have a look how we do research. Now, given this is your rush in, must have a horse right here, right now, horse. We don't really know much about the game. So what we want to do, we want to buy the cheapest horse possible. And the good thing is breeding just reopened a couple of days ago. So there are many, many more cheaper options than there were two or three days ago, which is great. Now, depending on whether breeding stays open or closes, you know, the market supply can ebb and flow. So you might be able to get cheaper horses than what I'm seeing here today, or they might be more expensive. But the, the theory sticks, you know, if you're not going to do your research, then you probably just want to buy relatively cheap so that you're not wasting your money on whatever you happen to get. So we come to collections, we've typed in Z run. We did that already. Then we come over here to the right hand side and sort by price low to high. All right, low to high. What is the cheapest horse currently? 0.08, all right. Now what we're going to do is, if I grab, I've got another site here open, my research site, which is called Know Your Horses. Knowyourhorses.com. You can see one of my horses there. I'm just going to make two windows here. Whoops. If you don't know how to make two windows on your PC, do a little bit of Googling or YouTubing. All right, so there's one window and I'll grab this one here. and we'll put this one over here. All right, where'd know your horses go? There it is. And what I can now do, if I click on know your horses here, it will go back to the main page. Knowyourhorses.com, great little site. I enjoy this a lot. There's a lot of stats and tool sites and I'll go through a few more of those later in the series as well. But for the time being, this one does the job. And we can see here MIMS, and I'll just put the W. You don't have to type the entire name. Mims Wanderer, Z20. All right, all right, all right. Looks like it hasn't yet been raced. That's great. So we scroll down, no races in the previous race column. So this is unraced. And if we click on find on Z, we can get a little bit more information. Now keep in mind, you don't really know what you're looking for to a degree. So this might be a good horse. It's cheap, it's cheap. 0.08, you know, what's that? $150 or $200 or something. And you can see a little, look, it's been bred from a decent um, 
dad, the mum looks to be unraced, the dad's pretty good. That's, that, that would be a pretty decent horse for that money, in my opinion. That won't last long. That won't last long. Okay, good one. All right, we got Steaming Pile. Interesting name. We click back on Know Your Horses, and we can type in Steaming Pile. Is that a hint about how good this horse is? Maybe. And again, well, this horse is not even coming up in Know Your Horses yet. So keep your eye on that. That just means that Know Your Horses is yet to refresh, you know, its list of horses. And this might be a relatively new horse. And I would suggest it's probably unraced. We can also come here to Z Run. In the Learn tab, go to Roster. If Know Your Horses doesn't show a horse, I would say it's because it's an unraced horse and a very new horse. And I might have to make this a bit bigger, do I? Why? Okay, so everything's a bit broken at the moment. Thank you, Zed. Okay, normally you can go to Roster and search your horse under the Search tab. Let me just hit Refresh here. Here we go, here we go and steaming pile. So we can find the horse this way as well. So it's good, a little bit, a little bit, uh, not a problem. Okay, it's had one race, all right? So be wary of that. They're selling it after one race. That race may not have been very good and may have had really high odds, which suggests that that horse is in fact a steaming pile of Deep. Okay, all right, let's just merge this window back over like that. It's not for sure, it might be okay, but once, once uh, Know Your Horses refreshes and brings up that data, you'll be able to see. Let's do one more. We've got R&R &R Bundy. R&RB, we should get the job done. Okay. Now, I am going, throughout the next videos in this series, I'm going to give you all the information that you need to know to make wise choices. You can see this has had one race as well. Let's have a look. It's being sold after one race. And here we have the odds. Look at this. 44 is about as bad as it gets, to be honest. So that horse is about a 95% chance of being a donkey. And But then you come to this one here, Mims Wanderer, that we had. And it looks to be unraced from a pretty good parents, from pretty good from a pretty good father at least, didn't it? Let's have a look again. If we type in over here at Z1, Z Run Wander Er. There it is, Mims Wanderer. Yep, no races. Zero races. Uh, good good dad. Like that's a pretty good dad. Nearly 14% win rate. You could do a little bit more research on the dad for sure by coming here to know your horses if you want. I'll show you how to do that. But if you can find a horse as good as that, that's had no races, got a pretty good dad. It's also a legendary. So it's been bred from two Genesis horses. You know, that's a pretty good horse. If you can find a cheap horse with no races just to get in and learn the game, that's what I'd be looking for. But please, like I take no responsibility. If you're gonna rush in and not watch the rest of the videos, then you probably get a bad horse, okay? But my tactic at this point is, by all means, rush in. By all means, use that to learn the game. But my tactic would be to spend the least amount of money possible. And what you're probably looking for, if you can find one of the cheapest horses that currently has zero races, well, at least you're half a chance of it being something decent, all right? So keep in mind, if someone message you, messages you privately, assume it's a scam. Make sure you keep an eye on verified collection. Make sure you have that verified collection. And number three, do not, or I wouldn't recommend, making offers on unraced horses because it gives the stable owner the opportunity to go and put that horse in a race. And if it's good, they're not going to accept it. If it's terrible, they will, okay? so. If you get a really nice unraced horse, all we want to do, looks like this one's already disappeared. 
Has it? I think it has. Yeah, there you go. In the time I was making this video, I should have bought it myself. It's a very nice horse for that price. You know, in the time I was making this video, it's already sold. There it is there. Shadow Facts, well done. I think that's a very nice horse at that price and you can see they don't last long. So, you know, what you wanna do, as I said, come here to OpenSea, open up collections, select a Z run, price from low to high, have a look through there and find yourself a nice little unraced horse. Use that to learn the game. Watch the rest of the videos that I've created in this series, there's about 20 or so. Once you have that full knowledge set and you know you know, you've developed a bit of vision about how you want to set your stable up, then you can buy those horses, you know, with a little bit more of your budget. But for the time being, just be aware that most of these horses are probably not that great down that low. All right. Thanks again for watching along. If you enjoy the content, hit the subscribe button. And of course, hit the thumbs up as a thank you uh, for the video, if you don't mind. Take care and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.